Geology and Rocks for Kids. Did you know there are people who study rocks for their job? A person who studies the earth, which includes all the rocks, is called a geologist. And this type of science is called geology. Geologists look at the structure of our earth, how it was made, and how it has changed over time. They look at valleys, mountains, rivers, and lakes, and figure out how they came to be. Geologists study things like rocks, landslides, earthquakes, volcanoes, and many other elements of the Earth. They also study the interaction between humans and the planet. They learn ways that the Earth and humans can take care of each other so that we do not run out of natural resources. It's important that we study the Earth so that we know how it has changed or could change over time and what we can do to help keep it sustainable. Sustainable means we are trying to keep something working for a long, long time. Today, we will focus on just one job of a geologist, studying rocks. You have probably looked at many rocks in your lifetime. Even though they may look alike, rocks are not all the same. The type of each rock is determined by how the rock formed over time. There are three main types of rocks. Sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous. Sedimentary rocks. A sedimentary rock is formed from particles of sand, shells, pebbles, and other pieces of material. All these particles together make up something called sediment. Sediment is the result of material broken down by weathering or erosion. If you break apart a rock, the small pieces of dust from that rock become sediment. Sedimentary rocks are soft. They crumble easily and they are made up of other tiny rock pieces. Over long periods of time, sediment gets pressed into more sediment, which creates layers. Eventually, all those layers harden, making a rock. Sedimentary rocks are usually the only type of rock that contains fossils. Fossils are imprints of dead animals or plants from long ago. Examples of sedimentary rocks include limestone, shale, sandstone, chalk, and more. Metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks are formed under the surface of the Earth. It takes millions of years, as well as intense heat and pressure, for a metamorphic rock to be formed. The rocks that result from this very long process often have ribbon-like layers and many shiny crystals in them. The crystals are formed by minerals which grow slowly over time on the surface of the rock. You might even eat your breakfast off a metamorphic rock each morning. Metamorphic rock, like marble, slate, and quartz, are all common rocks often used for kitchen, bathroom, and other countertops. If your countertop is made of a metamorphic rock, take some time to study that slab of rock. See if you can see the layers of crystals in it. You can even tell your friends that your countertop took millions of years to form. Igneous rocks. Igneous rocks form when magma cools and hardens. Magma is molten rock deep within the earth. It's the material inside a volcano. Sometimes this magma cools inside the earth. Other times, it erupts onto the surface of the Earth from a volcano. When magma leaves the volcano, can you guess what it is called? 
If you said lava, you are absolutely correct. Lava cools very quickly. And when it does, the rocks it creates look shiny and glass-like. Cool! Sometimes, gas bubbles get trapped inside the rock during the cooling process. If this occurs, there will be tiny holes and spaces left inside the rock. Igneous rocks are divided into two groups, intrusive igneous and extrusive igneous. Intrusive igneous rocks are sometimes called plutonic rocks. They are formed when magma slowly cools inside the Earth over a long period of time. Since they cool very slowly, it allows large crystals to form inside of them. Granite is an example of this type of rock. You've probably seen granite before. Many countertops are made of granite too. On the other hand, extrusive igneous rocks are formed when molten lava cools very quickly on the surface of the Earth. Because these rocks cool very fast, it doesn't leave much time for crystals to form. Rocks like basalt, andesite, and pumice result from this process. Sometimes the lava cools so fast that no crystals form at all and obsidian rock is formed. That's a beautiful rock. Ready for a little review? Let's get rocking. True or false? Geologists study the Earth. True. Geologists study the structure of the Earth, how it was made, and how it has changed over time. What are the three different kinds of rocks? Did you remember sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous? True or false? There's only one type of igneous rock. False. There are two types of igneous rock, intrusive and extrusive. Fill in the blank. Marble is a type of blank rock. Metamorphic. What's one example of a sedimentary rock? Limestone, shale, sandstone, chalk. Well done, everybody. We've put our geologist hats on and learned that not all rocks are the same. They have different characteristics and processes that shape how they are made. Remember that sedimentary rocks are soft and crumble easily. Metamorphic rocks are layered, dense, have shiny crystals in them, and are made deep inside the earth. And igneous rocks are volcanic, shiny or glass-like, and they might have tiny holes or spaces in them. Keep being a geologist. The next time you pick up a rock, inspect it closely and decide if it's sedimentary, metamorphic, or igneous. Doesn't geology rock? <laughs>